sorry, I'm like a minute late. The Sims decided that I needed to do an update, even though I just updated it like two days ago. That's what I get for not checking. So that's on me. Um, so we just finished our Greek revival house last time. So I was thinking of what I could do that I'm more familiar with because that was really crazy. So I don't know how many people know this, but I am a librarian, a public librarian. I run actually a library branch um, in my area. So I was thinking it would be fun to make a library. Um, I'm gonna start, I might do a couple libraries of different styles because I think that would be fun. Like I want to do first a really small library and that's for like a small lot that's really easy to build and doesn't take a ton of game packs. And then I want to do weird, weird stuff like a, um, like a gothic vampire library. I think that would be dope. So let us see here. I'm just going to make a new game. Wait, do I have to make people if I do a new game? I do. Boo! Okay, I don't want to do that. That's too much work. Yes, delete the sim. They're not even a sim yet. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. How do I go back to the main menu? Okay. See, already we're a disaster, which is why I am the agent or disaster. Always and forever a disaster. Load game. Let's pick one that I really don't care about. This one, I haven't really done anything within a while, so I'll play this one. And, uh, never made a public building before. Sure, spring. Um, so I'm not 100% sure how that will work. Oh, I have to actually select it. Um, but, pretty excited. So, let's see here. I'm gonna go to a different area. Let's go to Willow Creek. Now, I know some places have a library already, like right here. Fancy. I wanna go to a place maybe that doesn't have one yet. Oh, well, this is just weird. Some of these I don't go to very often, and you can tell. Does this place have a library? It does. Um. Should have done more research. Sam Mishuno doesn't have a library. That's a shame. We're gonna make one. Because everybody needs a library. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the old salt house. And I'm just gonna go in here, we're going to demolish it, and we're going to make something fun. I guess since it's San Mishuno, I could throw in a few Asian elements, um, but I'm not going to get too crazy. Bulldoze the lot. Bam. Um, so I'm pretty sure, let's see, we want this to be, oh, I didn't know you could just do a library. Boop. Cool. And it needs, oh, it actually has a bunch of things it needs. That's neat. Okay. I am excited. This makes everything a lot easier. So we're going to do just a basic square to start. And then as we go, we will get things done more. So get it more to what we want. I want it to be kind of like a, what are the other buildings? Well, this one's brick. I like a brick building, to be honest. Um, so let's do just a nice brick building. I don't know how many floors I want it to be yet, but you know, it's, uh, it's going to be good club. No. Um, mahogany. I think I want it 
I love a dark wood. I'm not gonna lie, love dark wood. But I think I'm gonna try and go more white, kind of like a, not necessarily a Cape Cod feel. Wow, these are really high walls. Why are they so high? Did I, did I just default to, to big ass doors? Jeez, I mean, I'm not mad. Kind of like a giant door, especially in a library. Well, I mean, this is in San, San Machino, so. Oh, this one will work, real nice. So you're gonna have to have the city pack. Where's the middle? I don't think there's a direct middle. No. So this means we'll get a lot, of, do a lot of cool stuff. Okay, so a lot of libraries are very open concept, right? Um, which I like very much. Let us see here. I do want, let's put the circulation desk over here. So we need some counters. Now, most libraries, public libraries, have a space in the back where they do all of their like sorting and stuff. So I think I am going to make, let me make like a little area here that is kind of shut off from everything else. And that's gonna be that area uh, behind the circulation desk. So I'm gonna put that and very fancy. Now we're gonna do the counters. Um, surfaces. Um, feels like we're kind of doing something a little Cape Cod slash modern, which I'm okay with. This is kind of, this modular thing is what I've seen most often in libraries, to be honest. Um, I don't really want, let's see, like I said, I'm trying to make sure that I'm not using too many crazy packs. Let's see, how do we want the interior to be? Well, let's think, what would go well? Probably like, yeah, this cream business. Okay. So, most places have some space uh, in the back where they do all their sorting and things and where employees can like put stuff. <laughs> so that's good. We want a place, we want to, the people to be able to sit, because this is going to be where the librarians are. Now, I don't think that librarians actually are a thing in this game, but I don't care. Uh, I really want to make this as close as I can to an actual library. Is there not enough room? I guess I gotta do a bar stool or something. Or like a high stool to get it to work. Um, I would have thought one of these would have worked. That's all right. Librarians normally do not sit on bar stools, but that is a-okay. Some of the newer ones might though, you know? Some of them might. Um, 
Let's do one of these. Just cause... Everything's here and here. Okay, cool. Um, so we've got that. We're gonna have to have a computer at each of those stations for the librarians to do their work. Helping people check out and check in. All that good business. Boop. Okay. Um, now, usually in a library, there's a couple different places. There is the main adult fiction, nonfiction. There is a kids area. There is sometimes a community room. And then um, teen area, computer area. I don't have a ton of space in here. And I want it to kind of just be a one room deal. I ha I don't have libraries that are just a one room deal. Like they're small and they make it work. Usually they only have one or two computers. They usually don't have this big of a desk. That's dang sure. Um, so that's kind of a thing. Um, maybe I'll get rid of some of this. So I have more space to do other things. I got a little excited. That seems more realistic. Okay. Hmm. So you usually want um, books between bookshelves between the kids area and the like computer area, at least at some point, because Kids are very loud, especially in a library. Libraries aren't quiet. Anyone who tells you that doesn't work in a library or hasn't been to one in a long time. Um, and having all of those shelves with all of those books in between them helps break up the noise, funnily enough, so that you are able to do your concentrating. So I think what I'm gonna do is have the kids area right up here and we're gonna have some computers in here i don't know if you guys actually know this but um most libraries have what's called awe computers which are preloaded with um kids games i don't think there are any kids specific computers but i'll probably put in one of those toddler tablets um Um, so that they can take care of that. Um, or just put the adult stuff here. No, but I do want to blanket it. And then the teen area also needs to be near the kid area, but not super close. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the teens also just like to be off in their own corner and change. Can't blame them there. So let's see. Let's just start making stuff because otherwise I'm just not gonna do anything and be paralyzed. We want this to be kind of open. I'm kind of doing the furniture first just to get a feel of what we want here. So first we want kids stuff. We want dollhouse. Most kids' areas are full of toys and things to do um, to keep kids engaged, to get them to come into the library. Here. Um, so usually there's a good amount of things to play with. There are mm -hmm, yeah. um, things to do, and let's see. 
trying to see what is available. Probably a activity table makes sense. Let's see here. I need shelves. Those are also important. So let's see here. Furniture. Right on his bookcase. It's probably going to be our best bet. Whoa. I'm going to make the kids' area like a light blue. You know what? Let's do it this way. And I'll do another round behind to get that full use of the space. To get a full row of kids' materials. There's going to be lots of bookshelves, my friend. Don't you worry. Um, cool. That kind of puts this off in its own little area here. Do you need windows? This is getting annoying. Let us put in some windows so we can see what it is we are doing. Big windows. A little too big. Maybe. That's more what I'm talking about. Okay. Can't put them right next to each other. You want to make sure you add a window as much as possible everywhere so you can see what's going on. Usually all the kids' areas I've been in, I try to put as many windows in the kids' area as possible so that the light can get in and everything. It just makes it really bright and welcoming. I'm just gonna start placing windows everywhere else and then we can adjust as necessary. Now, some of you might be saying, well, why you got so many floor-to-ceiling windows? One, it looks cool. Two, a lot of the libraries I've been to actually do have giant windows. Um, I know what we're going to do. We are going to do some, instead of a community room, we're going to do some uh, small rooms with desks and chairs, which are sometimes used for like meetings and stuff. So, where do I want to First, let's focus on finishing up the kids' area, I think. Um, all right. Now we want to do... That. I do want a nice... Toy chest, toys in it, block table. Most of them have like a Lego table or something if they can afford it. Sometimes you can't, and I get that. Um, let's see. Okay. That's pretty good for a children's area. Got lots of books, activities, games. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get down the carpet. I'm gonna do a general carpet for everything. And then the kids area usually has some crazy carpet, like crazy carpet, to really draw the attention of those children. Children. Um, Trying to think back 
most libraries I've been in have like a dark gray carpet or something. Why? Because it's easy to clean. I'm assuming that is why. And usually their walls are something that is white because it is the simplest to do. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to paint the walls. We're going to just make them white if we can. Yes. For now. And then we will go from there. Cool. Um, is it very plain? Yes. But we're going to spruce it up as much as we can. So now... Oh man, this is the stuff that they love. That librarians love to put in kids' areas. Oh, it's so obnoxious. It's a little too much for me. Let's see here. Plus, I think it's tile. Technically, that's kind of weird. What we can also do is rugs. We get some weird rugs. That's also fun. Um. Let's see. I don't know. I kind of like this. Just like here. No, I don't. I hate it. Okay. Well, we're gonna look at some rugs then. I wonder if they have. Sometimes they have like little trails of like footprints that um, kind of lead kids to the area. They might have something like that. Big dinosaur one here. Oh, it's not gonna fit. Damn it! Now I know that I can cheat, but because I'm trying to make this very accessible and I don't want to like mess anything up for anyone, I'm trying not to cheat. We know where that gets me, but it's okay. Um. Well, shoot! I thought these were bigger for some reason. Hmm. Guess we're gonna have to go the old jigsaw floor. And people can change it if they don't like it, if they download this. I'm gonna just do it all the way over here. And then let's see if we can add a rug without it being obnoxious. Probably not. Mm, no, I don't. Think. We're just gonna make it look like this. Okay. So for now, that's the kids' area. Well, actually, let me see. Usually, there's something hanging from the ceiling, to be honest. And like posters and shit. But no, I made the walls all covered in glass, so that doesn't quite work anymore. Um. Usually there's a board board or something hanging up to like show events and stuff. But we'll leave that there for now. Oh, I wanted to do one of the kid iPads. Yes. have some parent computers near the kids area just because parents want to be able to check in on their kids. You know what we're going to do? We're going to do a row of computers here in the middle. We might also have just a big display right here of like all of the books and stuff. Let's surfaces. 
Do you have any big, big fancy tables? Probably even a dining table or something, a coffee table. Mm, toasty potassi. Um, usually we just need like a nice solid table. Just to like show off things. I'm trying to think back to like libraries I've been to. This is huge. I'm not gonna fill all this space. Anyway, let's do, let's scratch that for now. We're going to do the desks. Uh, do we have like a simple, like one of these things, like a trestle that's not enormously expensive? Uh, no, <laughs> we don't. Okay. And we could just do these. These are pretty traditional. Is there a different color? Can we get like a green? Yeah, that'll work. And I'm just gonna. Usually they're set up so that they're next to each other. along the other side as well, so you can get all of the electronics kind of linked up right next to each other. Okay. That's a lot of things for a tiny library, but this library isn't as small as I thought it was, so we'll deal with it. Um, let's see. Electronics. We want computers. This is the typical computer you would see at a library, like a, a PC. So, and then we want we need two computers. I mean, I guess. Uh, desk chair. Really gonna get something like this. Pretty simple, standard. Like a green chair. Okay. That's your basic patron computer situation. It's a lot of, honestly, it's a lot of why people come to the library. I think I'm gonna do the kids area or the teen area over here. So, and also we do need a toilet. You know what? What we're gonna do is we're gonna put the toilet here, and then the community rooms here, and that'll use up some space. So, boop, boop, boop. we're gonna do some walls. I'm just gonna section all this off here. Gonna put a toilet in here. And then two separate community rooms. A smaller one and a bigger one. There we go. Maybe this one isn't going to have a giant window in it. Maybe we'll have a smaller window. Even smaller than that. That seems like a little too much for a bathroom. Um, there we go, right there, cool. So, bathroom time. Additionally, you're just gonna have your usual tile bathroom that everybody uses. Sometimes if you get a uh, bigger one, the employees will have their own. Not very often. You can love that beige. I love that beige. Um, a step tile. 
Sure, why not? I'm gonna try to make Standard door situation. For the bathroom, we don't want any more boys in. For these rooms, the community rooms, usually, usually there is a see through. And the reason for that is to make sure nobody's doing naughty things. Wouldn't know it, but uh, people like to pretend that they can get away with stuff. And uh, it's always a good time. So, you want to make sure you can see in there a little bit. Okay. So people aren't doing naughty, naughty business. Okay. Back to the bathrooms. I do want to make salt with some stalls. I'd like to do two toilets if possible. Okay. Then we're gonna need. I don't know how to make a stall. Well, beans. There. Okay. Let's see what I can do here. Wall trim platform. I want it hooked up, but I want to be able to. I feel like a fence is going to be my best option. Just has to be, you know. I just feel like. Oh, it's not that big. That's why. Hi, kitty cat. My cat is here. She is a sweet baby. Okay, no. No. I mean, this might be the best we get. At the moment. And sometimes that's okay. Because I'm not really seeing anything else that's high enough. It doesn't look shitty. So we're going to go with that for now. We need two doors. Let's see here. Some smaller doors. Just like some simple bathroom doors. Uh, 
Oh, we need a fence gate is what we need. <laughs> That's awkward. A little bit. It's a gate. <sighs> This is not working because it's so small. Oh, it's because it's too tall. Is that it? None of these are tall enough for that. I am confusion. I guess we do just gotta make them separate rooms. Fine. <laughs> A tiny little... <sighs> um... Tiny little doors in here. And then we're gonna put those little lights in here that just kinda stick out the top. little saucers. Yeah. Like that. And then here I want to have the sinks. Just gonna have to do what feels right, I guess. Here. And I do want just like a big old mirror. So when it's long enough, otherwise we'll just have two simple mirrors. I guess we're just having two simple mirrors. toilet paper in there just because we need toilet paper. Put it on this side. So I can't see either side. Cool. Uh, How do I change the angle of how I'm viewing the rooms? Because that is going to help Let me look it up real quick. Let's see. Sims 3? Not what I want. Hold down. Like, well, yeah.
Is there not a way to do it without cheating? We've done it before. I'm going to change up my game options. Apparently there's something called Sims 3 Camera. really is to just be able to put this in the bathroom. Okay. There we go. more lighting in there just because you need more lighting in the bathroom than just that. Sconces. Maybe just one. Who knows? I feel like there's usually more light than that. Got this camera giving me so many issues and help me do what I needed to do today. Um, actually, this one will probably work better. Let's get rid of this one. It doesn't seem to give off that much light. We want just a button of light. is so difficult. It's like they should give off more light than this, I feel like. There we go. Okay. Cool. That's done. Neat. Neat. Alright. Okay. Now the computer 
Now the controls are confusing me. We're going to put them back. Now that I don't need to... Okay, so this one's going to be the big board room. Community room. So let us see, we need a big dining table. Not super fancy, but like, nice enough. Something like this. And then we need some nice chairs. To go with. Nothing too fancy though. I just want some. Wooden. Chair. None of these match. Why does nothing match in the Sims? <sighs> Blacks don't match, the woods don't match. Just want whatever goes with this table. Is there something that's supposed to go with that table? Let's see. It's just from the regular pack. So, if there's one that goes with it, it should just be in the regular pack. Is it this? I guess it is. Meeting area is too small. Um, I don't mean. I'll just make this go out a couple steps. Make this one go out a couple steps. One step. Probably just make it one step. Um, like that. Just make it come out a little bit so we can get the thing situated here. There we go. whiteboards. Usually they have like a good whiteboard in there. No. They have a board at all. There's a cork board. No, I don't want just the board, the cork board. Yep, that's what we're doing. Hobby board, board meeting, and wall decorations? Where is that? This is probably going to be in the back here to keep track of everyone's schedules. Large cork board. It's probably what we wanted over here instead of this one. There we go. Chalkboard. I think this is chalkboards in here. Oh, 
on this? Probably a plaque somewhere. Honestly, it's probably outside, saying that the library is built. That's a thing that usually happens. Ooh. Just finding stuff to throw around. This, why is this board meeting thing? Does it not exist? Have I been bamboozled? Really need to stop leaning that forward so much. <laughs> okay, maybe we're gonna take some of these windows out. We'll take one out. And put pictures and stuff on here. Well, I'm looking. I mean, I'm already looking. Might as well just do that. The teens area. Um, what is it? Float streak? Thank you for, um, for stopping by. Uh, greetings. How is Germany? Um, never been, but it sounds really nice. We are getting our cold weather here. It's, uh, pretty nice out. Starting to get, uh, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm not 100% what that is Celsius. Um, it's just kind of chilly, nice light jacket weather. Apologies if I didn't see you and you already left. When I get focused on stuff, I kind of lose track of the chat, and that's on me. Ooh, towel dispenser. That. We want that in the bathroom. Notice that was there. Um, I think maybe it was just lying to me because I'm not seeing. Chalkboards and no one uses chalkboards. No one. Just saying. Not really anymore. At least not in libraries. Okay. Oh, trash can. Some new bulletin board. more time. No. Okay, fine then. Usually those areas are kept pretty sparse so that people can do what they want with them. I really wish there was a whiteboard. Why isn't there a whiteboard? That's so... I mean, I guess people would be expected to be able to interact with them, but let's put some, like, decorations in there. So I want to put decorations on the walls in the kids' area. Mm 
This is what we want. Reading posters. Science club, apparently. <laughs> I want more kids' art doodles everywhere. Because usually kids will make art and then we hang it up because it's cute. And they made it at the library. Like a craft or something. Library's trying to be fancy. They'll just have some nice art in there. Probably have a nice big art installation on the wall over here. That's usually a thing. Put this over here for now. Oh, too big. Thought it would be big enough. I was wrong. Usually, like right behind the desk. Maybe art installation. There we go. Let's see here. What do we want to put in here? Adult area, we want to put things like old maps and shit. Or like poster patterns. Um, uh, maybe not that. Okay. Let's see here. Let's do that. something else on that wall. It's just bare. That's annoying. Libraries usually have tons of shit everywhere. Now, is that good necessarily? No. But it's not bad either. It's just lots of history, you know? Lots of history in libraries. They just kind of keep everything adding to it. So let's see. I think kind of not talking as much, which I apologize. Um, let's see. What can I what can I impart that will be helpful? Uh, did you know that most libraries have not just books, but video games and movies and um, DVDs, Blu-ray, all that good stuff that you can just check out and take home. And you just have to bring it back. Um, you typically have to get a card from the library that you belong to, which is dependent on your property taxes. 
So keep that in mind. Um, your closest. Hey, here we go. <laughs> Bam! I was looking for that. Okay. Um, so be aware that the library that's closest to you may not be the actual library that you belong to. It kind of is like a school district situation where you could be like right on the cusp across the street from somewhere but you're across across the school district line and it's annoying and i apologize but most libraries that are in a similar area have what's called a cooperative um, where they all interloan with each other so if you get a library at your library get a library card at your library then you would be able to use it at a different library um, that's close by. So you just have to go and actually get it. And then because of those cooperatives, usually, um, the things that are in a specific place, that's not all that you can get. You can usually get something that is from like a completely different area. and it just you know you ask someone to get it for you i think you need a sign somewhere that's something um you know the this book you really want it is um but it's in a town three towns away well they can order that for you and try and get that for you and then when it comes in they it, the libraries will send it to each other and then you will be able to pick that up at your local library so you don't have to go get it the libraries will actually send it to you to your library and then you just have to go pick it up when it's available and they usually just call you and let you know that it is ready which is pretty neat. So if you go to your local library, it's super small. You're like, there's nothing here that I want. Um, still ask the, your local library and see if that is something that, you know, they can, they can give you, they can help you with, you know, it's one of those things. I guess it's not actually glass. That's fine. Um, it's one of those things where you really want the latest movie, the latest book, whatever, and you can actually get it. They will give it to you. Why do I have to have a chess table? That's annoying. Um, so, you know, just keep that in mind. Boxable files. Um... You can always, you know, usually get what you want, honestly. And yeah, a lot of them have started doing video games. So like they'll have video games for Switch, PS4, Xbox 360, whatever. They usually won't have things, oh, I say usually, oh, Pardon me. I mean, you know, usually um, have things that are that save the data onto the actual game. So things like the uh, 3DS um, have game cartridges that save the game onto the actual thing. That isn't going to necessarily be a thing because everyone's trying to order the same books and all that good stuff you don't want necessarily someone to be able to access someone else's information so ooh, I wonder if I could put these like behind glass that'd be cool um they'll have things that are you know available um that are just the Come on, brain. Come on, brain. We're trying, I swear. Um, 
um, that you just need to use it for. So, you know, PS4, the discs mainly. Um, what else? Uh, most libraries have a digital, what do you want to call it? I need light in here. This is bothering me. They have digital resources, is what it's called. So, streaming movies, streaming uh, documentaries. They have things that are... Uh, I'm trying to do this in like an actual normal way. Oops. Not succeeding right now. Um, so they have things like ebooks, e audiobooks, streaming movies, uh, electronic comic books, free music you can download and keep, usually only like one or two songs a month. And then some libraries have what are called Library of Things. And those are actually like tools and stuff that you can, you know, just download. Maybe I'll put the chest in here. You can have like your own little spread chest thing. I think I'll do that. Um. Yeah, so your local library probably has a lot more than you think it does to be honest. Um, even a really small library. They all work together to get you what you want. So, just think about it. I'm just gonna borrow these chairs again. Or not. Jeez. Okay, I guess they want them to be like this. Why? Why can't it rotate? Okay, well, it can. Apparently, it was just being a pain in the ass. That's fine. There we go. Okay. We still need a living space, which honestly, we might do over here. Um, usually, a lot of libraries have. Have like a TV and living area. I guess we'll just get rid of the hand sanitizer. So we do that really quick and put it in front of the kids' area so that parents can still see their kids and just kind of hang out. Fanciest chairs. I want something a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. And this is where we can put the little rug or whatever. TV here. Oh, libraries like to use the TVs to kind of show what's going on in the library and also to run news. So let me see here. Just kind of nice wall mounted TV. Yeah. Well, I actually might do. Let's try and put some kind of like love seat right there so people can watch. Let's see if I can find one that matches. 
this one matches. Yeah, it does. There we go. And then we will find that rug. Um, decorations. Rug decorations. Boop. Find that dinosaur one. Here we go. Here we go. Starting to feel like I know what I'm doing. Neat. I really don't, but feels like I do. Move all of these over just a little a little bit. Give a little more space for people to walk around. Okay. There we go. Nice little sign that something or other is going on. Okay. This is going to be the teen area. And then the adult area will just all be along here. And here, here, yeah. So teen areas are usually trying to be really trendy. Um, I don't know if it really works, but they try to have things like beanbag chairs or, you know, cool looking chairs that the teens will like. I don't think any of us really know what the teens will like, but we try, okay? We do try. It's just sometimes it's confusing. I mean, I'm not even that old. I'm like 31, right? Now, some of you are going to say that's old, to which I say, shut up. But, you know. I thought I knew, but I don't. Make it black because it seems. I need to get a little collab feeling going on there. Get this little table put in the middle. coffee table just to go in between that's a big table um let's see this feels like something this library would have can I squeeze it in there is the question. There we go. <sighs> Team collab area. And then, got all the signs and posters and stuff. Get... Copy stuff. I'll leave it there for now. Let me... Oops, sounds like my partner is up. So you might see him in a second. Which is good. Is good. Let me see here. I never know where the bookcases are actually. Oh! What? Oh my god. You're telling me that this was a thing the entire time? Are you kidding me? Wow. 
Wow. Well, this would have been useful. Wow, we even have a front desk. It's fine. I'm fine. Not fine. I wish I had seen this earlier. I'm a little bit mad about it. People probably screaming at me like, there is a thing! And I'll be like, I'm sorry, I didn't know. And then we want a computer in there. There we go. Cool. Things playing kids music in the kids area. Just put it over here. And then the teen area. Let's do S pop. And then the adult area. Just looks like a classic little cafe. You listening. There we go. Man, I'm such a dummy. Such a dummy. Why did I not know that this was here? I'm not a dummy, but I feel like one. Okay. easier. Look, all the bookcases are right here. Is this, is this a bookcase? Weird. Um, trying to find one for the teen area. because this library is only going to have one type of shelving. Most libraries don't have different kinds, except for the kids area. I'm just gonna do some rows of this. 
because that's how libraries work. Should be enough space for people to get through. Can I do another row? Should be able to. just keep kind of sucks that they're all the same but it is what it is hello I'm in the middle of my stream oh no I'm making a library. Nice. A public library. See? Oh, I've got a kids area, teen area, computers, back area, meeting rooms. It's pretty cool. Just one floor? Yep, I'm just doing a, a small library to get started. Um, and then I'm gonna make weird ones. Like, I want to do a gothic-style library. Because I was thinking, like, do I want gothic or do I want library? And then Drake said, why not both? And I was like, Drake, you're a genius. And they are. And I live by that. So. Oh, did you start laundry? My stuff is still in the dryer. Okay. What's some other fun stuff I can tell you about libraries? This definitely looks like a library now. Hey, hey. Um. I should probably have a holds area over here. So I'm gonna do that really quick. some shelves for that. I spent a whole bunch of time making a front uh, desk and then they just have a front desk. Like I was looking through all of the things DJ. They have, if you're making a library, you say you're making one, they just have a section called library items. Which I found like an hour into my stream. And I'm just like, why? <laughs> why this? So that's how it be sometimes. Displays, that's what we want. Don't need it to be refrigerated.
Let's play. Play this item. I'm not really seeing a good one. This could work. Here we go. Oh, here we go. This is what I wanted. A display case. Who knew I had to look in miscellaneous the entire time? Probably everyone screaming at me. Put that right there. What else do we want to put in there? Let's go look at the Bob Library items, see what's in there. Yes! More kids' posters! Okay. So helpful. Have fun doing because you know, a librarian. The, where's that one thing? Do I, why did I? I have to go over here. Put this above here. There we go. It's the fancy book section. You know, the fancy book section. Like you do. Someone's a notebook in there. Interesting. Is there just an open book? Another thing you might not know is that a lot of libraries have what are called seed libraries, where you can actually get seeds from the library and plant seeds, and then once you plant them, then you grow them, harvest the seeds, give them back to the library. Which seems kind of weird, but like... You can return them, so why not? So if that's something you're interested in and you can't afford seeds and you need some, you know, from somewhere, go to your library, see if they got one or if there's one in your area. You can always find out pretty easily. Like an antique or something. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know what to put in there. Oh, here we go. Encased scrolls, because they need to be double encased. Why not? Um, 
So that'll do for now. Cool. Let's see. What else? Let's look at the library items. Here. See if there's anything missing. Go here. See if I'm missing any tchotchkes. I should go somewhere. Spin there. I should probably put one by the computers too. Or in the kids' area. Look for some clutter to put on those shelves, and then go in the back area, see what we can find. Well, you know what? I don't think I want the shelves. I just want some art to hang up. Let's just look at art and wall decorations. See if we can find anything fun to put on the walls. You know, we could put this in the teen area. That's pretty cool. I bet teens would like that. I don't know anything about teens. Let's be honest. I don't know. I may not know much. I live by that. Um. Let's see. Oh, that's huge. Most libraries have a we're open sign. Sometimes there are weird signs and stuff in the teen area because teens like me are. Right? <laughs> Who knows? Who even knows? Let's see here. Art. Um, I'm gonna try and find some cool art. stuff you'd find in a library. Vaguely pretentious fun pieces of art. Um, usually landscapes and stuff. 
Ah, tapestry, probably. Would make sense. Okay, that's cultural business. to find something that will fit right here in this corner. That'll work. Get a nice big piece of art here. Not that libraries usually have enormous pieces of art, but we do try when we can. back area. So we want at least one desk. <laughs> this is where all the librarians do their work. Usually too fancy. Usually multiple people crammed in. There we go. This is where this would go. All right. Usually, we have our own bookcase in the back for stuff.
doesn't have to look the greatest. Make it match though. One person with a diploma, one person with a hang in their cat. Seems accurate. Decorations on their desks, things they would receive, possibly patrons or each other. Those cards part of Usually there's an area for the people to eat, but there's not enough space, really, for like a kitchenette type business. So, I guess I could put something in front of the window. First of all, we'll do it. We'll move this window over right here. Better to see the books you're sorting through. And then we're gonna do a little kitchenette so that they can make coffee and stuff. Because sometimes you gotta. Sometimes you just gotta get through the work day. You know? You don't really want them to see those kinds of things in the back. Um, okay. So we need sink. more touches here. And then we're done. With the inside anyway. The child will definitely be a child statue somewhere in the kids area. Or the teen area. 
He's hanging out. Um, Usually there's not. Let's see the old stuff in the back. In fact, it's usually the cool stuff. This is in the back. But don't go back there without permission because you know someone's workspace is no good. Okay. I'm gonna make some quick paths and hedges. Then I think we're gonna be done. Nice. Do it all in one session. Yeah. All right, let's see here. I think this place would have some nice stone leading up to it. try not wiggle the, the mouse, but I'm not great at that, so we'll see how that goes. Oh, more or less straight. That's the best you're going to get from me, to be honest, in all things in life. Okay. Cool. Um, you know, I'm probably going to move this over here so it's not blocking me. Design. Then we're just going to do some dirt so we can have hedges. Make it a little bit smaller than that. Now let's put the hedges in first and then see where we're at. Some grass.
especially is right here. And then just tacking down more hedges along the corner, along the side. It's just kind of basic, but I just like a good head and chin. There we go. And now just do some variety of the belly and back. Just gonna put in that dirt. building instead of just a farcical computer copy, you know? And a little bit of weed. This dream is going a little bit long, but I, since I'm still supposed to be in, I just kind of want to finish this. And then I'll upload it to my... Oh, I never did a roof, did I? Well, I guess I'll have to do that real quick, too. See, I'm like, oh, I'm just going to finish it up. And then it's like, oh, actually, no. There's so many things you have to do. I'm like, oh, please. Mm -hmm. It's so tricky sometimes. Then you mess up and you did a whole thing. You liked it, but it's messed up. That's what you got. Okay, there we go. Here's the outside. Boop, now I just gotta plop a roof onto it, and we're good. Let's see. Just trim it a little bit like that. Change the roof color to this. 
Maybe. Hmm. No, I want these. There we go. And we're done. All right, well, thank you so much, everyone, for joining me. Um, I will be uploading this to my YouTube channel, which is a link in my Twitch bio. And uh, if you want to download this, it's going to be called Small Public Library. And my username, I believe, is either a gender disaster or Captain Katrina in The Sims. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed. Have a great day.